This next ratio question follows the format that is so classic of so many ratio questions on the GMAT, where first they present you with some ratio, then they say some change then occurs, and then they ask you a question. So when I read a question like this, I am so happy because I can almost go on autopilot. I can be very mechanical in my approach. I just need to set up the ratio, translate the change that they say then occurs, and then just figure out, remember to uh, answer for the thing they are asking for. And so in this case, the question says, Mara recently purchased a box of trail mix made up of scoops of granola, nuts, and raisins in the ratio of 10 to 7 to 5. If Mara were to remove five scoops of granola and double the scoops of raisins, the ratio of raisins to granola would be 8 to 7. How many scoops of nuts were in the box originally? So to start out, I just need to set up my ratio. And here I have a single ratio of three things. And so uh, this just means, unlike the last question where we had two things, uh, ducks and goldfish, we have three things. All of these, all three of these things, our granola, our nuts, and our raisins, need to have the same multiplier. And so I got granola, the nuts, the raisins, and I want to express my ratios in terms of the actual amount of scoops of granola, nuts, and raisins that I have. So instead of saying 10 to 7 to 5, I'll say I have 10x scoops of granola, I have 7x scoops of nuts, and I have 5x scoops of raisins, which also means I have 22x total scoops of stuff. If Amora were to remove five, scoops, five scoops of granola and double the scoops of raisin, the ratio of raisins to granola would be 8 to 7. And so here I am setting up my ratio. Now I am sort of translating. I am doing arithmetic. So here I can, if I wanted to call this 8 to 7, you know, I can call it 8y to 7y if I wanted to, but the y's would just cancel out, right? So I just, when I'm doing arithmetic, I just write my ratios as fractions. So something, this is the change that occurred now. Something has got to be equal to 8 to 7. So to start, uh, or just write out what, what is equal to 8 to 7 in words. So it is my ratio of raisins to granola. So I do not hesitate to write that even if it takes me an extra 10 seconds, it helps me think uh, in a little bit more of an organized way. I'm happy to do it. So it's really sort of my, my new raisins to my new granola after this change occurs. And so here is where we get rewarded for setting up our ratio like this. Because now when I'm making this translation, I can say, okay, I had 10x scoops of granola before, then I removed five scoops. So if I had 10x before, I have 10x minus five scoops of granola now. And if I were to double the scoops of raisins, so I had 5x scoops of raisins before, now I should have 10x scoops of raisins. I just wrote this as five. And said, then I went to 10. Well, that would not necessarily be true. That's only true if your multiplier is equal to 1 originally. So now I just got to fill uh, put these values into my equation here. So my new raisins, that is my 10x, over my new granola, which is 10x minus 5, that is what is equal to 8 over 7. And then the last thing, we just got to keep track of what they are asking for, because one thing that is true about this question that is true of so many ratio questions also is that it is it sort of just becomes a game of find the multiplier. If you can find the multiplier, you have sort of hacked the question because everything here is in terms of X. So if you can find X, you can find pretty much anything that they can ask you. You just have to remember, though, that once you find X, 
X is not your answer. Uh, you have to remember, keep in mind, we are looking for uh, the amount of nuts that we have. So this is another thing that's true, that a lot of times with ratio questions, especially with three items, they will give you some change involving your granola and your raisins, but then they might throw you off a bit because they ask you a question about the nuts, which there is no change to the nuts. Um, that is because we're just using this change to get this multiplier. So we got to keep in mind our nuts are 7x. Once we get x, 7x is what we are really looking for. So now we just got to cross multiply to solve for our multiplier x. So 70x is equal to 8 times 10x minus 5. 70x is equal to 80x minus 40. And subtract 70x from each side, add 40 to each side. 40 is equal to 10x. X is equal to 4. But remember, this is why maybe you would write out the question, start boxes off at the beginning, so that you remember you can do all this work to solve for X, but that is not your answer. We need 7x, which is 7 times 4, 28.